NCIS is the franchise that keeps chugging along. As it gears up for season 21, CBS' longest-running scripted series currently airing shows no signs of slowing down, even amid a longer-than-usual hiatus due to the writers' and actors' strikes. Created by Donald P. Belisario and Don McGill, NCIS follows a team of special agents from the Naval Criminal Investigative Service as they investigate high-level crimes involving the Navy, the Marines, and other military arms. Led by Sean Murray, Katrina Law, and Wilmer Valderrama, the series, itself a spin-off of JAG, has launched three offshoots, including NCIS, Los Angeles, which ended in May 2023, NCIS, New Orleans, which wrapped in 2021, and NCIS, Hawaii, which will enter its third season. The franchise's first international edition, NCIS. Sydney will also launch on Paramount Plus and Australia's Network 10 sometime in the near future. No official information has been released about NCI's new season, but considering how things ended for Valderrama's Nick Torres in the season 20 final, there's reason to be worried about his character's future. While season 21 will be delayed a little while longer, we're keeping you up to date on all the news as it comes out, including a possible release date, returning cast members, and more. Any of the main players on NCIS will be departing ahead of season 21, including Valderrama's Nick Torres, who had quite the cliffhanger in the last episode of season 20. Until we hear otherwise, we think it's safe to assume everyone featured last season will return in the same capacity. Here are the main season 20 cast members. Scene Murray as Timothy McGee, Wilmer Valderrama as Nick Torres, Katrina Law as Jessica Knight, Brian Dietzen as Dr. Jimmy Palmer, Diana Reasonover as Kazi Hines, David McCallum as Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard, Rocky Carroll as Leon Vance, Gary Cole as Alden Parker. It's unlikely, but never say never. Longtime NCIS star Mark Harmon, who played team leader Larry Jethro Gibbs since the series debuted in 2003, departed the veteran CBS procedural during season 19 with a fond farewell episode in October 2021. In Harmon's final on-screen appearance, Gibbs decided not to return to the job. Instead, he handed the reins to his mentee, McGee, in a bittersweet passing of the torch. As an executive producer and dear friend, Mark continues to be an integral part of the fabric of the show. Our North Star has always been staying true to our characters, and that truth has always guided the stories we tell and where those characters go executive producer and showrunner Stephen D. Binder said in an official statement after Harmon's last episode aired. So regarding the future of Gibbs, as longtime fans of the show may have noticed over the years, never count Larry Jethro Gibbs out. Harmon later addressed his decision to leave the series after nearly two decades, alluding to the fact that it was time to close this chapter of his career for now in a season 19 DVD featurette. What has always drawn me here is the character I play and to keep it fresh and to keep it challenging, he said. Plot-wise, this character has taken the path that it did. I thought it was honest and I was OP with it. His name eventually was taken off the opening credits, starting with the season 20 premiere. It's also uncertain that past NCIS fan favorites like Michael Weatherly and Polly Perrette, who played senior field agent Anthony DiNazzo and forensic specialist Abby Chiudo, respectively, will be back for the upcoming season. Weatherly, who left in 2016, has kept the door open for a possible return, responding to a fan in January 2023 who wished for a reunion between DiNazzo and Cote de Pablo Ziva David, who returned for multiple episodes in season 16 and 17. Stay tuned, for this may be the year for such moments. Perrette, who excited the series in 2018, reminded fans on Twitter in July 2020 that she is now retired from acting.